Well, the Flames 2017 baseball season comes to an abrupt end in Lexington, South Carolina. Friday morning, Liberty falls in an elimination game to the number six seed UNC Asheville Bulldogs, 2-1 to one, the final score in this one. Liberty scored the first run of the ball game in the fifth inning on a Jake Barbie single to drive in D.J. Artis. That backed Flames starting pitcher Jack DeGroat, who was – Outstanding today. 13 strikeouts, a career high for him. Six shutout innings, only one hit allowed. He would give way to Shane Quarterly out of the Flames' bullpen. Quarterly in the ninth inning, working for a three-inning save. Gave up a two-run homer to Brandon Lankford on a 1-2 pitch. Lankford over the left field wall for his 10th home run of the year. That put UNC Asheville in front, 2-1. to one. Flames would get the tying run to third base in the bottom of the ninth inning. But Eric Whitecavage would nail down the four-inning relief effort win for UNC Asheville. And the Bulldogs move on in the conference tournament to play either Gardner-Webb or Presbyterian. After the ball game, we had a chance to catch up with the head coach, Scott Jackson, as his first season as head coach of the Flames comes to a close. Just a frustrating couple of days for us. Um, you know, when, when your backs are against the wall, you know, Jack DeGroat was unbelievable, and, and so was Shane, you know, just one pitch there. Um, to a guy that's a pretty good hitter. So um, just uh, it hurts, man. It hurts for these seniors and these guys that have given so much to this program. They're, um, they're unbelievable kids, first and foremost, not to mention the fact that they're good players. And, you know, to come in here as a first-year head coach and be able to, you know, to have those 13 guys, I, I wouldn't trade it for nothing. And I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm proud that they played here at Liberty. Um, they'll represent our program in an unbelievable way no matter what they choose to do. And, um, you know, I just I look forward to just the, the memories that I had in my first year, and a lot of them are due to those 13 guys. Well, the Flames finished their season 32 and 24. Obviously, a very disappointing finish to the year as Liberty goes 0 and 2 in the conference tournament for the first time since 2015. Flames will also have a very different looking ball club next year. 13 seniors part of this year's team, and Liberty. We'll have to replace a lot of faces heading into next year, the 2018 campaign. But again, your final score here today in Lexington, 2-1. to one, UNC Asheville wins it over Liberty. For the Liberty Flames Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.